The next generation of consoles is just around the corner now. We've gotten glimpses into both the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 without too many concrete showcases of gameplay. So today, I wanted to discuss my thoughts on where these consoles are headed and the future of gaming. I'm Andy TBK and I love video games, so let's discuss. As of the time I'm making this video, we recently saw Unreal Engine 5 shown off using the PS5's engine, giving us our first real look into what games could look like going forward. It's hard to believe how far we've actually come, but Unreal Engine 5 looks to be like something that's going to churn out beautiful looking games. Before we delve too deep into that though, I wanted to go back and focus on the console that we've seen the most of before that point, the Xbox Series X. The Xbox has gotten a bit of a head start this generation. Before we even saw the controller for the PS5, we got to see the Series X and its specs. We even got to see what it can do with ray tracing, and how it can easily manage having multiple games in the background to swap between. The Series X looks like it's going to be a really strong console, and personally, I'm a fan of the tower-like design. I also really like the fact that the expandable storage is in small little memory cards. It's really nostalgic and looks easier to manage than a whole external hard drive. I have a regular external hard drive on my PS4 and it's always kind of in the way, so the memory card looks appealing. The Series X controller itself doesn't look too different, but Xbox already had a pretty solid controller so I don't think they really needed to change much. Microsoft did drop the ball a bit with their recent gameplay showcase though. Many people, myself included, were expecting full on gameplay from the games they were going to show off. I was pretty excited in the morning when I saw that the video was up. I mean, I expected at the very least Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay, but we were given instead short trailers with no real footage of these games being played at all. With all the backlash they got from that, things are looking a little rough, but we know that they'll be really showing us what to expect later this summer in like June or July. As exciting as that is, Microsoft has been releasing things on both the PC and their consoles, making the actual Series X feel a little less special. I'm sure Xbox fans who prefer the console experience will still want to stick with what they're familiar with, but PC players won't really have any reason to get it. We can't count them out yet though, and we know that these consoles will probably do really well anyways. Now back to the PlayStation 5. So far we have the specs and the controller. The controller on Sony's end has had a much bigger redesign than the one we saw on the Series X. The new color scheme gives us a clue as to what the PS5 will probably look like, and overall I really like the design. It looks comfortable and I'm excited to hold it in my hands when it comes out. I didn't really expect them to change much about the DualShock 4, but I was really glad to see they took some risks and tried something a little more interesting. Now as for the specs, we know that most of them seem to be slightly below what the Series X is promising, but we can't just assume that it's going to perform significantly worse because of it. The PS5 has a custom SSD that looks to make up for the gap in power between them, and I think it's going to be exciting to see how fast this thing really is. I mean, we don't even have SSDs that'll even be compatible with the PS5 yet, so I'm assuming it's going to be crazy fast. This does raise some concerns about how big the games will be next gen, as I and a lot of other people found themselves filling up their PS4 hard drives with only a handful of games. Hopefully the compression gets a bit better so we can still get high quality games that take up less space. Now although Sony has been pretty secretive with their console compared to Microsoft, we've now seen a bit of what it can do with the Unreal Engine 5 showcase. The new graphical capabilities and lighting technology look to be a huge step up, and I can't wait to see what developers do with it once it's finally released. Of course we might not get exactly the same quality as what they were showing because it was only a tech demo. But looking at games like Spider-Man or God of War on the PS4, I think next-gen games are going to look beautiful. Speaking of those games, we know Sony has a lot of great exclusives and that'll be the major draw when the next consoles get released. A lot of people are already playing on the PlayStation and that'll probably carry over. Microsoft will really have to prove themselves with all the studios they've recently acquired. Now, I wanted to add that although Unreal Engine 5 was shown using the PS5, that doesn't mean that it's not going to be able to run on the Xbox Series X. They've already told us that it's going to run on current gen, next gen, and even on iOS and Android. So just looking good in that little demonstration doesn't necessarily mean it's going to only look good on the PS5. Of course, we can expect that level of quality in a lot of other stuff too. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But still, I think it shows that games can look really good uh, if they, you know, use the right assets and stuff. And... With the good art design, I'm sure we'll get some really good looking games. Regardless, things are looking to be really exciting. I think once we give the consoles a couple of years for developers to get the full hang of them, we'll be seeing some really amazing things. I know a lot of people see PC as the only way to go, but a lot of developers really focus on making games that consoles can run too. The better the consoles get, the better the games get for every platform. This next gen will continue to push things forward, and I think it's really important to show our support and make sure the developers know what we want to see going forward. That said, I think these consoles are looking really powerful. 
I still have my regular PS4 and all the games look great to me, even on my regular HDTV. I'm sure if my PC was totally decked out I'd notice a bigger difference between them, but I think eventually it won't matter as much. PC will always get better, but consoles will still be the more affordable option, and they'll always have the ease of use. I personally plan to get the PS5 down the line maybe a few months or a year after release. I'm anticipating a lot of good sequels to games that already came out, and I hope we get some cool new IPs. If you guys have thoughts that you want to share with me, feel free to comment and I'd be happy to reply. If you want to see me make more videos like this, or you want me to discuss some things with my friends, let me know. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more content. Have a good day and stay safe out there guys. Deuces.